Why do we name hurricanes? I'm Storm Shield meteorologist Jason Myers. Let's find out. <laughs> The short answer is this. It's a whole heck of a lot easier and less confusing when we name hurricanes. Places that see a lot of hurricane activity, like the West Indies, have been naming them since the middle of the 19th century. They named these storms after saints whose day occurred nearest to when the hurricane made landfall. At the end of the 19th century, an Australian meteorologist was naming storms too, but instead of saints, he mostly used the names of politicians because he couldn't think of anyone else who wandered around aimlessly and blew hot air. The rest of us were identifying these storms by their latitude and longitude, which, as you can imagine, huh? wasn't very helpful for anyone not aware of their exact location at all times. Not to mention, it's a lot harder to say 21 degrees north, 70 degrees west, as compared to Hurricane Earl. It'd get even more confusing if there were two storms. Imagine throwing out all those coordinates and expecting people to follow. Occasionally, these storms would be named after the fact, usually named after something or some place it destroyed. Not very helpful when you're trying to keep people safe ahead of time. Eventually, meteorologists started unofficially naming these huge destructive storms after their wives. Whether that was meant to be a compliment or an insult, I have no idea. In 1950, we got serious and started naming storms in alphabetical order. It was based on military terms. Think Abel, Baker, Charlie, Dog, and so on. That only lasted three years. It became a little confusing. So in 1953, we started using female names in alphabetical order similar to what we use today. By 1979, we started alternating women and men's names. We didn't want to be sexist. Now, six different lists are used in rotation. Some of those storm names will be retired if they're especially deadly or expensive. Think Katrina or Andrew. If that's the case, the World Meteorological Organization gets together and picks replacement names chosen from the different countries that could be affected by these natural disasters. For Storm Shield, I'm meteorologist Jason Myers.